early here in Jaipur and uh, I've been up all night because of some situation in the family. So forgive me my un unkept appearance. So we are talking, uh, I've been asked to speak about the Hindu survival in hostile circumstances and hostile nations. And uh, incidentally, I, that's my core area of uh, competence. I've been working with Pakistani Hindus and Sardars for the past 10 years. And uh, before going to that topic, uh, there are some generic points I would like to touch upon, which the previous speakers have touched upon in the general narrative around the Hindu uh, conf the uh, clash of civilization, yeah. Sanatan Dharma with other Abrahamic faiths and the onslaught of the leftist uh, uh, whole ecosystem on the on the values of Sanatan Dharma. Uh, I do not understand this whole idea of universality and, and you know, universe ke liye, humne theka le rakha universe ka. Hamari apni bachiyaan ki ijate loot rahi hai. Our girls are being raped, being picked up with impunity by jihadis. And here we are talking about universal peace. I somehow do not understand. It is like uh, uh, a spoiled son in the family or like a son in the family who's weak and who's not able to earn and he says, I'm going to be with the family and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take care of everybody and I, I'll, I'll make money and well, nobody cares unless you actually start making money and you start contributing to the family. So all talk of universality and all talk of world peace will really look good coming from our mouths if we are speaking from a position of strength. And right now we are not speaking from any position of strength. We are very weak. We are facing total annihilation uh, by the uh, Abrahamic faiths and the in cahoots with the leftist uh, ideology. Or what is the reason why, why is this happening? The, it is happening because we are a hundred crore huge mass of human beings. Without leadership, we do not have any credible leadership. Uh, what are leaders uh, as, as a ragtag co coalition of social service and NGO type uh, uh, people who are going to assist people when there are floods and there are uh, cyclones. Uh, but we do not even have a full narrative to the to the whole uh, Conflict, you know, that is what is in our Shastras known as Shatru Bodh, enemy consciousness, uh, which is exactly what Sri Krishna was trying to do in the Bhagavad Gita, because this universal thing was always uh, what uh, Arjuna was touting and Sri Krishna decimated it right there. And he said that do your karma and do it to your utmost. And then we will talk about the universal good. Same is the situation of Hindus today. So. Without leadership, I don't think we are going to make much headway. So uh, the the current leadership is uh, is is lost, is very myopic, and is capitulating to the jihadi um, uh, blackmail for no reason. There is no reason for the Hindu leadership to capitulate, but it is. So then we hear statements like uh, uh, the same DNA and then that Britishers were responsible for the Hindu-Muslim conflict in the subcontinent. I think one of the most absurd and most uh, illogical comment I've ever heard from any human being. Uh, because uh, if Britishers were the reason for Hindu-Muslim conflict, uh, I happen to be writing a book on Mewar Maharanas. What were these glorious Maharanas fighting for 1000 years before Britishers came? From 8th century, with the attack of uh, Raja on an attack on Raja Dahir by Muhammad bin Qasim and he was defeated by Maharana Bappa Rawal of Chittorgarh to Maharana Raj Singh who defeated Aurangzeb in 1680 in the 17th century for 1000 years were Britishers making us fight Islamic invaders? Was Maharana Pratap a British agent? Was Maharana Sangha a British stooge? We cannot have such Ideas being floated into an already confused mass of Hindus who are charmed ceaselessly and endlessly by Bollywood, uh, with cricket and uh, and theme parties and foreign vacations. As it is, we are so atomized. As it is, we have no enemy consciousness. And on top of that, these statements don't help. They take away all the uh, 
uh, all the, uh, the the courage and the, and the intellect that with, with which we have to fight this war. So the leadership has to uh, reinvent its own ideology, uh, reach out to the cadre. Uh, I've worked with uh, with people on the ground and some brilliant people working on the ground. They have created such institutions. And uh, I can say very proudly that without uh, the blessings and the support of these brilliant Hindu people on the ground, I would have been able to achieve nothing at Nimit Tekam, which is our organization for Pakistani Hindus. So this is one aspect which I wanted to touch upon that we are not responsible for universal brotherhood. It is a, a contract which is two way. We cannot be carrying the mantle of unity on our shoulders. We will uh, uh, try to, uh, you know. Am I am I am audible? So the second thing is that without leadership, we will not be able to achieve much. So as long as this current leadership is lost, uh, I think we need to be the middle class of Hindus has to rise up. We have to uh, be the leaders in our own sense. And uh, I'm coming from a very humble background. I am not a very rich man. I was a simple ELT surgeon practicing in Rajasthan. But we tried to create uh, something at Nimit Tekam. And very humbly, I can submit that we took out 10,000 Hindus out of Pakistan in the past seven years. And we also managed to get 3,500 citizenships by the, the with, even without the CAA law that uh, Shri Modi ji and Shri Amit Shah had brought so compassionately. Uh, now, touching on the Pakistani Hindu issue, uh, the European Union Parliament report in may 2019 says that thousand hindu girls are picked every year that means three hindu girls are picked every single day in pakistan uh, just before me uh, the bengali hindu friend was speaking about 2300 girls being picked every year i i do not understand how can the hindu leadership uh, sleep on this this ghastly fact हमको इन बच्चियों का श्राप नहीं लगेगा हम तो वो सभ्यता हैं जो कुमारी कन्या के पैर छूते हैं कुमारी कन्या को भोजन करवाते हैं अष्टमी के दिन और उस बच्ची का शील भंग पूरा का पूरा गांव कर रहा है और हम बैठे बैठे यहां पर प्लेटिट्यूड सर्व कर रहे हैं विल 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 द कर्स ऑफ दीस गर्ल्स नॉट फॉल अपॉन द हिंदू सोसाइटी can we actually uh, sleep, eat, drink, and make merry while this debauchery is happening right in front of our eyes? That is a question we must ask ourselves before going back to sleep. And this is only one aspect. This is one aspect which the European Union Parliament covered. I live with these Hindus. They tell us such ghastly stories about what they face. They cannot be, uh, you know, Hindu names in Pakistan. They have to. They have to have an alternative name, Islamic name. So uh, Ramesh will have a, a Muslim Russian name uh, or, or a Sanjay will be Salim so that his business is not taken away. Uh, his, uh, his, his daughter is not taken away and uh, all kind of atrocities and the percentage of population, which was approximately 15% at the time of partition uh, of Bharat Varsha has been reduced to 2% in Pakistan today. Whereas correspondingly, the Muslim population has grown from 8 to 16 percent in Bharat Varsha. So we are under attack. Our demographic change is on of, upon us. And uh, the, the biggest uh, the biggest onslaught of this attack is faced by Hindus who are the minority in uh, Bangladesh and Pakistan and Sri Lanka. I personally know Sri Satchidanandaji of uh, Sri Lanka. Ha, old man, gentleman, struggling so hard to keep uh, Hindu fight somehow on in, in, a, in a reasonably friendly country like Sri Lanka, where we have a sister faith tormenting us because we are not strong. Uh, in Rajasthan, we have a saying, Garib ki joru sab ki bhabi. 
तो हिंदू तो गरीब की भाभी है गरीब की जोन वो सबकी भाभी है सो अनलेस वी टॉक ऑफ पीस टीक ऑफ टॉक ऑफ वर्ल्ड पीस एंड यूनिवर्सल ब्रदरहुड फ्रॉम अ पोजिशन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ नो बट इज गोट गिव एनी हिट टू अस वी विल कंटिन्यू डाइंग वी विल बी कंटिन्यू टू बी रेव एंड वी विल बी श्रिंकिंग इन आर फिजिकल इन आर मेंटल इन आवर इमोशनल इन आवर साइकोलॉजिकल एंड इन आवर स्पिरिचुअल स्पेस एंड दैट इज वॉट इज बिन हैपनिंग फॉर द पास्ट सेवेंटी ईयर्स ऑन एन अलार्मिंग पेस वी हैव इन फाइटिंग इस्लामिक इन्वेजन फॉर द पास्ट फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर्स and our glorious maharanas they were great people they were great people who who kept fighting and did not relent they saved us from conversion to islam by their sheer muscular grit and determination for the saving of dharma and we are failing today we the heirs of pratap and sanga are unable to resist this onslaught today with all the resources at our disposal with this internet with when communication and transfer of information is so easily happening so that is something we need to ponder upon uh, look back upon our history with pride that is why my book will be i am i'm really hoping that people read this book uh, maharana's a thousand year war for dharma it will be hindi and english and 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 for few hours as long as you have this book just feel the pain and the suffering that these great souls these great atmas endured just for the sake of being hindus they did not relent 40 40 50 50 years in logon ne aravli ki unforgiving monsoons garmi aur sardiyon mein bita diye lekin inhone samarpan nahi kiya और 1000 थाउजेंड ईयर्स की इस पूरी सागा में एक मेवाड़ का राजा ऐसा नहीं मिलता जिसने ये कल्पना भी की हो कि वो जाकर मुसलमानों से संधि कर ले अगर हम फॉल बैक अपॉन दिस दिस डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द मेवाड़ महाराणा द बुक इज कॉल्ड महाराणा थाउजेंड ईयर वॉर फॉर धर्मा इट बी आउट ऑन दीपावली आई एम राइटिंग इट I finished writing it actually. It's just being edited. The final touches are being done. The last thing that I want to talk about is the solution. What what can an average Hindu do? See, uh, what we have been consistently failed to notice is the power of centralized money. Now, it's zakat. Christianity has tithe. What do we have? we have nothing so all our warriors be it agni veer be it uh, arti agarwal in hindu genocide documentation be it uh, pushpendra kulshe be sanjay dikshit we are all, all loan is no central corpus fund funding us protecting us from, from legal bars or giving uh, seed money to and large our scope in the area of our work so what i propose here and what we have already formed with swananda ji uh, and uh, my brother jay ahuja at nimitikam is that we have formed this non profit company called dharmanj foundation the target is to collect 100 crore rupees in a month so 1 crore hindus out of the 100 crore hindus on this globe if they give us 100 rupees a month we will have 100 crore rupees a month and we will be funding fight against conversions love jihad fight against land jihad uh, we will have funds against the legal battles we will be able to give some money to hindus killed in riots and by extremists i have a document right now with me in which i calculated i made somebody i paid him money and a journalist and i asked the journalist to sit down and document that ever since modi ji became the prime minister in 14, on 16th may 2014 200 hindus have been lynched in bharat varsha by islamic extremists with the fir's the news clippings the name of the victims and the name of the i have that document with me I challenge anybody to to uh, 
to question the integrity and the and the authenticity of that document and that document is minus the bengal figures i'm talking about murders in karnataka tamil nadu up rajasthan and all these uh, in the rest of the country uh, some few uh, dozen from bengal so that is the situation that uh, we need to fund our own people uh, as napoleon used to say no army walks on its feet every army walks on its stomach so agar pet bhara hua hai bhaiya to aap ki army ladai lad legi agar pet hi bhara nahi hai pet hi khali hai all there has to keep looking back who's going to take care of my mother who's going to take care of my family who's going to take care of my wife then he's not going to be in this whole thing you know he is not going to be in the fight and that is the curse and that is the biggest limitation of hindu workers today which i have seen and with a very limited funding with a very limited dharmanj foundation that i was able to get for nimitekam i've seen the miracle of collective money uh, we collected about close to 1 lakh rupees a month uh, through dharmanj from various hindus and we were able to save 10000 hindus out of pakistan imagine what we can do if we get 100 crore rupees a month we can take out all these 1 crore hindus out of pakistan just like that because money is everything we need infrastructure we need people to man we need people to apply for the visas we need people to apply for the uh, citizenships so that's the whole thing about money without money nothing is going to happen yesterday itself i was talking to a nurse in my hospital and i was shocked when she told me that she makes 20000 rupees a month she gives 2000 rupees to the church what what do we give to the to the to the local hindus fighting our money which we used to give to the temple has been hoodwinked by the previous congress congress government the laws are such that i think it's impossible to get our temples freed so temple money is gone our dharmacharyas our mathadishas are stupurous they are in coma or they are crooks let me tell this very clearly because nobody nobody talks about the genocide of hindus in bangladesh and pakistan i personally went to a dozen ashrams i begged in front of them that please give your mic please give your uh, uh, podium to these unfortunate unforsaken people nobody bothered so our dharmacharyas our mathadishas that money is also gone what are what are we left with we are left with as i said rag tag middle class hindus like us so that's why with the blessings of swami vigyanand ji uh, may bhagwan shri hari give him a long life uh, swami ji has been blessing us throughout our journey and now we are uh, well on our way to uh, to to start collecting funds for dharman foundation i will be sharing the account details and all Uh, and then we can carry on this forward uh, if we get 100 crore rupees a month funding then we are in the game right now we have we are we are not even in the game because our leadership is lost they talk uh, platitudes they have done not their not done their purva paksha so brilliant people are just fighting out on their own their own resources their meager resources they are destroying their family lives but this cannot go on uh, perpetually because we are up against a very well oiled well funded uh, mafia and a killing machine we cannot sustain this war like this we need the dharman foundation to take off uh, i think i have touched mostly whatever i wanted to say uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for the organizers for organizing this brilliant uh, uh, gathering of uh, hindu speakers keep up the fight we are all together in this as mevar maharanas would give the war cry har har mahadev